welcome to this In Conversation with Martin Blessing, the CEO of Commerce Bank. In the wake of the, the debt crisis that we've been through, there's, uh, the Anglo-Saxon model of banking certainly has come in for a lot of criticism. I think what we have learned all globally is liquidity is very important. Um, you need to have enough capital, of course, to, sus to sustain also difficult situations. If, if you look at the starting point, part of it is the US housing market. Some people got credit that shouldn't have gotten this credit because it was a bad credit decision. Mm -hmm. And I think that is uh, what we have to, to look at again. If credit margins are somewhere between, I don't know, 100 and five, 600 basis points, your room for uh, making a wrong credit decision is rather limited and we should never forget we only have a very limited ability to make wrong credit decisions. So are we regulating for the last crisis? That's always the danger, isn't it? You're always doing that. I mean, you're never regulating for the next crisis because the next crisis will always appear at a, at a point which you didn't anticipate, otherwise it wouldn't happen. Are we on the right track? Does Basel III take us some way there? There's still so many things we don't know. I mean. I mean, Lots of elements of it are not, not firm yet. It Basel basically tackles two of the main issues. One is capital, one is liquidity. Now we can argue along whether it tackles it enough or too much, whether it tackles it at the right points, uh, and, and there's a lot of um, fine tuning still to be made, but I think uh, uh, in principle that moves into the right direction. Now we have to see that the pendulum doesn't swing too much into the direction of, of over-regulating and therefore putting additional burden on the real economy. What, what's your take on how much uh, coordination we need to have around regulation? I think, of course, the more you have coordinated regulation, the better it is. One of the reasons we saw the crisis in 2007 and 8 had also to do with regulatory arbitrage, right? Players in the financial world, world try to basically arbitrage different locations, different regulatory uh, uh, regimes, and different positions within the same regulatory regime against each other to uh, uh, optimize the capital allocation, the returns. I think that's a very dangerous uh, uh, situation. Do you think the emphasis on too big to fail is warranted? The problem is a trust problem. If we were sure that we could make banks so small that they all were too big to fail and no problem would arise, why would you then have banking regulation? Mm. The euro has been through a lot this year. Mm -hmm. When you look back at the spring, were you worried that this currency wouldn't survive? I mean, if, if you looked at market spreads and the euro dollar exchange rate, uh, you had to be worried at that point in time. And I mean, uh, the euro is a political project which basically was designed to uh, drive forward economic integration and use economic integration to also drive forward political integration. And if we are very blunt, that's what the euro is doing currently. What we cannot do is continue uh, in the, in the uh, governance structure of Europe uh, as it is today because we, with not more integration on the tax side, on the fiscal side, um, I think it will be very difficult to maintain uh, a, a stable eurozone.